So welcome back. In this module, we are going to see some of the definitions of MDM, Master Data Management. We will start with the definition from DAMA International. Managing shared data to meet organizational goals, reduce risk associated with the data redundancy, ensure higher quality, and reduce the cost of data integration. So few points we can note, it is managing shared data. For what? To meet organizational goals. Reduce risk associated with data redundancy. Ensure higher quality. And reduce the cost of data integration. Is a well-defined definition. That's more. We have some definition from Gardner. According to Gardner, Master data management is a technology enabled discipline. Master data management is a technology enabled discipline in which business and IT work together to ensure the uniformity, accuracy, stewardship, semantic consistency, and accountability of the enterprise official shared master data assets. So, few points and a lot of points, right? So it's a technology enabled discipline in which business and IT work together. It's a close functional business and IT together. And we have already seen in the DAMA framework how the business drivers and the IT drivers, right? So technical drivers and the business drivers. So here, according to Gardner, it is a combined effort of business and IT. So for what it is for to ensure the uniformity, accuracy, stewardship, semantic consistency, accountability of the enterprise official, shared master data set. Shared master data assets. I hope this is clear to you. So remember, few things to remember that is a technology enabled discipline. It's a collaborative effort for business and IT, and they have a purpose. It's a purpose driven activity. Then Master data management is a process of defining and maintaining how the critical data will be created, integrated, maintained, and used throughout the enterprise as a single point of reference. A single point of reference is a key. This is very important. The single point of reference is very important. From that only we are seeing the golden record, the single source of truth, and the trusted record, and so on. So this is all about maintaining how critical data will be created, integrated, and maintained and used throughout the enterprise. So this is another definition. And you know, this includes both reference data and analytical data. Okay, reference data and analytical data together constitute master data. Okay. And finally, we will also see one more definition from Gardner. The master data is consistent and uniform set of identifiers and extended attributes that describe the core entities of the enterprise, including customers, prospects, citizens, suppliers, site, hierarchies, and chart of accounts. So we have seen two definitions from Gartner and one definition from Dammit.